and welcome back to Epic Next.js course part six. Today, we're going to continue building out our video summary section where today we're going to take a look how to create a video summary with OpenAI and Langchain. You could find the complimentary blog post in the link in the description below. We're going to scroll down to the section that we are working on right now, which is going to be here on using Next.js, Route Handler, and Langchain and OpenAI to create a summary. So the first prerequisite you want to have is make sure that you have OpenAI API key, so you will need a account. We are going to start by creating a function to grab the YouTube transcript. Earlier in this course, I used YouTube transcript NPM package. Unfortunately, Recently, they had some breaking changes. If you go on GitHub and take a look on their issues, you will see that they have this issue from two weeks ago. So if you try to use this package, unless you're watching this in the future where the code was merged, you're, this package is not going to work for you. So what we're doing is I'm pulling a fix that someone shared here and we're using it in the code instead. So instead of using uh, this library directly, we have a working code snippet that we're going to use here. Let's go ahead and copy it and let's navigate to source slash lib folder in our project and create a new file called the youtube-transcript.ts. So here I'm going to navigate to lib and create a new file and we're going to call it youtube-transcript.ts and we're gonna go ahead and paste the code. Now this code is right from that repo and it's responsible from getting the transcript the way they implement it. You do need to install this package, node HTML parser, so I'm gonna do that now. So in a new terminal, make sure you're in the front end of the project. I'm gonna run yarn add, or if you like use NPM, you could do that as well. So that's all set, I could close this down. So now this uh, error should go away from me. Now that we have, this code, we could go ahead and test out our fetch transcript by calling this function in our project. And I'm exporting it here on the bottom, just in case you're wondering. So now let's navigate back to our route handler. So under app API summarize route.ts folder, let's go ahead and open that file and let's go ahead and import that newly created function that we created. And that's gonna be from at lib YouTube transcript. Now that we have our function, let's first start by doing a const for our body and it's gonna await our request.json and from the body, we'll be able to get our video ID. And let's save our transcript to a variable. So then we could set it in our try catch statement here. So here, before the return statement, let's do transcript and let's await our fetch transcript function. And for now, let's console log the transcript. So now let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this URL. And here, we're just gonna paste it inside our form, click create submit. And in our terminal, we're going to see our transcript, which is an array of an object and each object has the text offset and duration. What we want, we just want the text. So we're going to use a function that's going to go ahead and concatenate all of our text together into one string. In our blog post, you're going to do, see a function called transform data. We're going to go ahead and use it. It's going to go ahead and concatenate all of our strings together. So let's go ahead and copy it. And we could go ahead, use it in the route.ts file. So here, right before the post function, I'm going to go ahead and add this method. And now here we could say transform data is going to take the transcript and we're gonna pass it into our transform data function and we should return just the text. So let's go ahead and console it and see if we are getting the transcript in the format that we want. So I'm gonna resubmit the form again. And now when we take a look at our response, we see that we're getting just the text available in our text key here. And that's what we're going to use to pass to our open AI. Now let's add some basic validation here. So when we pass this URL or just the ID, 
we want a function that checks that the ID is correct. And if it does not match a specific format, let's go ahead and return an error. We're going to reference our blog post again here. I have another handy function here called extract YouTube ID, which will basically either return if the ID is correct, otherwise it will return null. We could say, hey, if it returns null, then the YouTube ID must not be valid. So let's go ahead and copy it. And we're gonna put this inside our utils folder. So in our project, in our source, navigate to our lib folder on the utils. Let's go ahead and add this new method here on the get strappy media and make sure we're exporting it. Uh, fantastic. Now let's go ahead into our components under folders, navigate back to our summary form.tsx file, and let's go ahead, import that newly added function from our utils folder here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down to our handle form submit. And right here, once we get the video ID, let's go ahead and use our extract YouTube ID method that we created to check the video ID. Now, if there's no video ID because it returns null, we're going to go ahead and have the totes display an error for us saying, hey, invalid YouTube video ID, as well as return an error that we could use in our front end. If you scroll back up, we do already have our errors field. So when we have an error, we are using set error to set that state here for us in our state. And if we scroll to the bottom, you're gonna see in our input, if there is an error, go ahead and show the error message. So now let's go ahead back to our front end and quickly test it out. If I go ahead, type some gibberish and click create, notice we are getting our invalid message as well as we also getting our toast. Fantastic. Now in our handle form submit, we're doing our basic validation. We're handling an error if it's incorrect. So let's move on to the next step. So let's navigate back into source in our app folder, API summary routes.ts file, and let's continue building this out. Here, let's import our get user me loader and our get auth token so we could use to check if we are a logged in user or if we have the token. Inside our post function, right here at the top, we're gonna to go ahead and call those methods and we're going to do a basic check. If user is not okay or there is no token, we're just going to return an error saying, hey, you're not authenticated. If everything is fine, the next test we're going to do, we're going to check if the user has credits. If the user doesn't have enough credits for the request, we're just gonna return a message that says insufficient credits. Now, because we are returning our error messages from our route handlers, we have to handle that inside our form. So if we navigate back to our summary form, notice that we're calling our generate summary service, but as you could see here, we're not doing anything with the response. So let's go ahead, add some basic error checking. Here, we're just gonna have an if statement and we're going to say, if summary response data has an error, which we know that it might, because this is what we are setting here. If there is an error message, we're gonna go ahead and set it to our state. So now we could test out our form to see if you are able to get an error. So in the front end, go into account, you could see that I have 10 credits. I'm gonna go ahead and change that. So on the Strapi admin, let's go ahead to content manager on the users. I'm gonna to go to test user. And for now, I'm gonna set credits to zero and click save. So now here looking in our account, we could see that we have zero credit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and submit a request. We're gonna get insufficient credits because we don't have enough credits. And if I go ahead and change the credits to five, click save and we submit again, we're gonna go ahead and see the request follow through and it's gonna say summary created. Now that we know that we're able to pass a video ID to our route handler, where we're able to get the transcript, our next step is to use Langchain and OpenAI to summarize that transcript for us. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video. So I'll see you all there.